Hello, I'm Ed Oliver, uh, Head of Data Explorers Consulting, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, the Securities Financing Forum taking place in London on Wednesday the 17th of March at King's Place. Um, so a very busy day in prospect, lots of great conversation and debate on some of the key issues that's facing the securities financing industry um, in today's market. Um, for the first time this year, we've introduced audience voting tools as well, so if you come along, you attend, you'll have a chance to shape the debate for yourself. Now, last year, when we hosted the event in London, we were at a period of change for the industry. Lots has happened, but we won't be looking backwards. This year at the forum, we want to look forward at uh, how the industry is going to take shape um, going to the future. There's lots to discuss, and uh, what I'd like to do is just give you a sense of uh, some of the panels we'll have on the day and uh, what the discussion might, uh, might contain. So, first of all, um, in the morning, we'll be uh, opening the comments with Steve Sedgwick from uh, CNBC, who is going to be the uh, chair of the day for us, and will be leading the discussions, leading the questions, and uh, he will be uh, setting the scene early on. Um, and then we launch straight into a regulatory panel. Um, there's been lots of talk about regulation of short selling in particular over the last 18 months. Um, obviously, there were short selling restrictions um, around the time of the financial crisis. Many of those have uh, now come off, and what we're looking at now is the next stage of regulation and disclosure requirements around short selling. So we have a couple of speakers who are going to be uh, commenting upon that. Michael Treep is the chairman of the uh, Short Selling Task Force for CESA. Um, they've come out recently with their short selling guidance. That's been followed, of course, by uh, some of the European regulators um, acknowledging that guidance and putting that in, into their own marketplace. So what will happen in Europe? Do we expect to see that same trend continue in Europe? Or do we expect to see um, some sort of disenfranchisement maybe with uh, some of the, uh, the work that's been done by the SEC in the US at the moment with the uptick rules? So we'll be looking to discuss that um, on that panel. We also have uh, Bronwyn Bain um, from the FSA here in the UK who will be talking um, about what they're doing in the space of securities lending, um, in particular what happened in their consultation process that they went through last year and what was the output from that. Um, joining Michael and Bronwyn will be Kevin McNulty. Uh, he's the CEO of ISLA, the International Securities Lending Association, and he'll be commenting upon um, what uh, his members are seeing in this space and perhaps what they want to see in terms of harmonisation of regulations uh, globally. Following that discussion, uh, we go on to looking at the new thing in securities financing. What's the alternative structures? Um, what we should be getting excited about? And what beneficial owners perhaps can be looking to do with their securities lending programs going forward? So we have representatives from Barclays Capital, um, from BlackRock, and also from ESEC Lending, joining Julian Pittam from Data Explorers in a discussion about what's next in securities financing. Are we talking about synthetic products? Where will ETFs be going? It's a real hot topic at the moment. Um, so we, uh, how can beneficial owners use their ETF portfolio um, to best uh, get engaged in securities lending? And it's the new markets that uh, we should be looking at as well. So that group will be uh, talking through uh, those points. And I think that promises to be an interesting discussion for uh, particularly the lending community. After coffee, um, we launch into a discussion on what's probably the hottest topic in securities lending, securities financing and short selling today, sovereign debt. So we've been talking a lot in Europe about governments that are uh, perhaps a little bit weak. Uh, the pigs have been named. We're talking about Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece and Spain. Um, so what's been going on? Are people truly shorting sovereign debt because of those governments' weaknesses? How does um, those government weaknesses then translate into their local and domestic corporate bond market? Um, and what about um, the CDS market? Um, and naked CDS, is that uh, something that we need to be worried about as well? So uh, we have Tim Barker, Head of Credit Research at Aviva Investors, Michael Hamden turner a Director of Credit Product Strategy at Citi, and our very own David Carruthers, um, who heads quant research here at Data Explorers, talking about the whole issue around sovereign debt and fixed income markets. So that's a really, really hot topic. Things may have changed by the time we get together on Wednesday, who knows. After lunch, um, we'll be talking about hedge funds, the new environment for hedge funds and prime brokers. 
Um, we have Ashley Wilson, Managing Director of uh, Prime Services at Barclays Capital. Anthony Byrne is the uh, European Head of Prime Services at Deutsche Bank. And Andre Stern, um, Founding Partner of Oxford Asset Management. All talking about the new environment for hedge funds and uh, prime brokers. And lots has changed there. The segregation of assets, the, uh, the requirements around rehypothecation of securities or not. Um, how has that changed the debate in, in that arena? Margie Lindsay, the editor of Hedge Funds Review, will try to keep that conversation on track. Um, then we talk about another uh, couple of words that uh, have hit the uh, securities lending and securities financing industry um, narrative over the last few months. Central counterparts. So they've arrived, they're here in both the US and Europe, but what's next? How can we get momentum around central counterparts? Um, what needs to happen? And is there sufficient clarity for industry practitioners on what it means to them? Um, so we have Greg DePetris, he's the co-founder and chief strategic officer for Quadreserve, and Peter Fenichel, the CEO of SecFinex, joining that discussion. The discussion will be chaired by Mark Faulkner, uh, the founder of Data Explorers, and joining him will be Andy Krangle, the director of Citigroup Securities Finance, who uh, has been following the CCP story as it developed uh, over the last few months here in Europe. So that should be a very good debate. Um, then we talk about the future of collateral. I'll be stepping up to moderate that one. Joining me, Cliff Searle, um, who works for Bank of New York Mellon's Global Collateral Management Group. Keith Havelin, he's Head of Securities Lending in Europe, Middle East and Africa for BBH. Gareth Mitchell, Director of Securities Finance for Citi. And Gareth Hughes, Head of Collateral Management in Europe and Asia for Deutsche Bank. So they'll be talking about, um, joining me to talk about, you know, what, where do equities play a part in the future of collateral management? How can we market new ideas to beneficial owners who are totally focused on very conservative collateral parameters around G7 government debt? And what are the revenue opportunities going forward? How are we going to be managing margins, etc.? So that's going to be a very, very good technical discussion on the future of collateral management. Uh, and finally, uh, your chance to see what's going on. Hopefully you can join us on the day, but if you can't, then we'll be streaming the last session live on the Data Explorers website at 4.45 on Wednesday afternoon. Steve Sedgwick will be moderating that session, joined by Mark Faulkner, um, Kevin McNulty, and also Blair McPherson from RBC Dexia, and Christoph Rupi from AXA, as we talk about the subjects that have come up during the day, um, where the debate was at its hottest, what points still uh, require additional clarification and further discussion. But please feel free to join us at 4.45 next Wednesday. But if you can get to join us for the whole day, it promises to be a, a very interesting set of discussions. More details on our website, dataexplorers.com. Just click on uh, Global Events and get more details about our forums. A couple of other things just to mention that we'll be, going, uh, that we'll be talking about on the day. Um, we'll be launching a brand new best practice paper for beneficial owners that morning. Um, lots of uh, talk at other events that I've been attending um, so far this year from beneficial owners saying we need a best practice document for securities lending. We've written one, we'll be publishing it that morning. So we'll be uh, talking a little bit more detail about what that means. Um, so hopefully you can join us um, on the 17th of March, next Wednesday, King's Place, London, and uh, promises to be a great day of debate on what's going on in securities financing.